2K Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are proud to bring you this year's Q School Final. We're just about to begin our coverage of this exciting event. Pleased you could join us for this final round action. Luke Elvey here alongside Rich Beam. And Rich, this player has been performing well in this Q School Final. Seems like we'll be seeing them next year on the Corn Ferry Tour. Absolutely, Luke. They have a spot locked up on the Corn Ferry Tour. They should definitely be thinking about their spot on the leaderboard at this point. Either way, I'm looking forward to seeing what this player does today. Let's see what kind of Tony sets for himself today. Second shot here on the first. How close was that to going in the hole? Great shot. Eight feet to the cup. That's tracking. Dee's making this look easy. Keeps surging ahead. Setting the tone early in this round. He sits in first position. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. Time to tee off at the second. Players want to take out any club, driver, three, whatever it takes to miss the bunkers down the right-hand side in order to give them the best opportunity to knock it on in two. However, danger lurks everywhere around this green, so players playing cautiously might want to consider laying up. Birdie fours are always a good score in this hole, and you're never disappointed with a five. Playing this shot from about 210 yards out. Chosen the pitching wedge here. And here we are with the third shot. Playing within their comfort zone there. This one's for Birdie. Oh, that was such a good stroke. Some momentum being built now. That's back-to-back -back birdies. Back-to-back -back birdies moving the right direction there, Luke. Currently seven under for the event. And I don't give the rest of the field much hope today. Our leader is way out in front in this final round. Here we are at the third. Just one bunker surrounds the screen. A difficult par three to say the least. Going with the five iron here. Come on, look after us. Little bounce to the right here. That's just inside the range. Already made a few birdies today, and this is another good look.
Oh, so close. That's disappointing. Just three feet to the cup. Nice little par putt here. And just keeping it in neutral on the leaderboard. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. Here we are at the fourth hole. Almost every player in the field will be going for this green. Where do you hit it? Front right part of the green is the perfect target. Missing it to the left in the bunker or long and right. That is not good. Oh, that's piped. That's heading down the runway. Time for the second shot here at the fourth. Nicely done. Trying to get to eight under par with this putt. Just didn't drop. And that should secure the par on this one. Still in the lead now after that hole. And this is quite an astonishing performance by our leader. Their advantage now out to double digits. I'm not sure if the chase back is good enough to catch them. Now on the tee of a long par four. Dog legs from right to left. The big danger here is the green. Three different tiers on this green. Find the correct one. You'll have a birdie opportunity. Miss it, and it's going to be a difficult two putt. Oh, that was pure. Henny, what's the player facing here? By my estimation, he's got around 170 here. Wow, that one was a fairway splitter. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. Hoping for a bounce here, preferably to the left. Pay attention, folks. That's how you play golf. What have they got in front of them here, Henny? Setting up this part 10 feet from the cup. If it's up, it could be in. Ooh. Well, this would be a good one to make. It's for par. Unable to take advantage of the great approach there, Rich. Currently in first position. And I don't give the rest of the field much hope today. Our leader is way out in front in this final round. Here we are at the sixth hole. Bunkers down the right-hand side are a nuisance. The pawn fronting the left part of the green should not come into play if players find the fairway off their tee shots. Second shot to a very flat green. You can get it close, but still difficult on this long par four. Oh, golf clap. That's a beauty. And this shot here coming up from around 130 yards. That should find the surface. Just putting on a ball striking clinic, it seems today, Rich. Well, the practice is paying off here, Luke. This player is relentless.
This one's looking good. Super shot that. And with that, he'll move to eight under par. Awesome play. And staying right where they were in today's rankings after that. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. Let's see what happens here on the seventh. Par five, and only the long players can reach in two. Find the fairway, and then make a decision. Do I go over the large bunker 100 yards away, or do I lay back of it? Either way, you must make a par five here, because birdies will be had by the big hitters. That's a good-looking shot there. Not bad. Getting ready to play their third. Well played, mate. Well, oh, this would be a big birdie here. Good putt to make. It's one of those putts that you're proud of at the end of a round. They all add up. Kind of like it. Two in a row. He's feeling it. Well, that's worth reviewing. Let's roll the video tape. Yeah, let's see this again. Have this one on repeat. Currently nine under for the event. But this is quite an astonishing performance by our leader. Their advantage now out to double digits. I'm not sure if the chase back is good enough to catch them. Now on the tee, fresh off a birdie. A great opportunity to build on that momentum. Par three and a diabolical green to say the least. The left hand side sits much higher than the right hand side and the green is usually very firm. A tough ask. Ah, it's a little wayward. And what a rare miss today. They've been so good with their approach shots. Ooh, that almost went down. Well, this would be a great par putt if you can make this. This looks like it's got the speed and the line. Solid par putt, that. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. And I don't give the rest of the field much hope today. Our leader is way out in front in this final round. Here we are at the final hole on the front nine. Ninth hole, bunkers down the left will not come into play. And this green sits below the players on their second shot. We have seen birdies made here in the past, but they are really difficult to come by. And Henny, what kind of a shot are they facing this time? Setting up here from about 170 yards. Well, this one's going right at the flag. Oh, lovely looking shot into birdie range here at the ninth. up their fifth birdie of the day.
It's a lofty position this player has held all tournament, but what a buffer they've built with just nine to play. Yes, but if they start thinking about it, that's where the danger happens. They have to keep their head down and keep playing on the front foot if they want to see this thing home. Well, well played. And Henny, what's he looking at here? He's setting up here from about 115 yards. Oh, that's a great approach shot. Looking for back-to-back -back birdies here, Luke. And Henny, what are they looking at here? Can't be too aggressive here. Take your medicine and move on. This is down the hill. Get excited. This could go in. Fair effort, that. Good birdie. Back-to-back -back birdies never hurt, Rich. Kind of like it. He's feeling it. Now that finds him in first place. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. Here we are in front of a par three. Par three measures 231 yards from the back. A very difficult test indeed. A long green that is unforgiving as it slopes from back to front quite severely. Birdies are hard to run by as pars can be as well. Come on, get a good bounce to the left. He's found the surface. Good chance here. 16 feet to the cup. was a gallant attempt. Pretty good chance here. This one's for par. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. Let's head to the 12th hole. Par four, 510 yards. Good luck. shot from around the 200 yard mark looks to be going with the five iron this one looks to be heading towards the green yeah nicely played Trying to move to 12 under par with this putt. Ooh, right by the hole. Well, yeah, it's a bit disappointing. They're nicely hold. Currently 11 under par for the event. But this is quite an astonishing performance by our leader. Their advantage now out to double digits. I'm not sure if the chase back is good enough to catch them. Let's head to this lengthy par four. Tee shot is uphill to a blind landing area. Green is surrounded by some deep bunkers. However, you miss all those, you find the surface in two, and you're gonna have a pretty decent look at a birdie three. Wonderfully played. 
This shot coming from around the 150 yard marker. Going with the pitching wedge here. That could play. Yep, that shot safely on the green. Twelve feet to the cup coming up. Good stuff today, especially the short game has been really sharp today. Oh, just missed. Big putt for Pai coming up. And down it goes. And this is quality play. Still on top of the leaderboard. And I don't give the rest of the field much hope today. Our leader is way out in front in this final round. Here we find ourselves on the tee of a par four. Fairway sweeps from right to left down the hill. Should you find the fairway, you'll have a decent look at finding the green in two. But I've got to say it is a difficult par four and you'd be happy to walk away with that score. Had a boy, good shot. Playing from around 210 yards here. Opting for the hybrid, I think. Uh-oh, this one's airmailing the green. He didn't look to hit that one quite so flush. Needed to take a little less club on that approach. They're looking to get this one close in hopes of saving par. Not far from the green here, just in the green side rough. Wow. What a recovery. Almost hold it. Putting for a bogey. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. Well, let's get amongst this 15th hole. Par four, 421 yards. A lot of fun can be had here, but be careful of the green. It'll get you if you're not careful. That's some good golf right there. Penny, what have they got in front of them here? Well, by my estimation, they're looking at 110 here. Well struck. Okay, Henny, what's he looking at with this putt? They've just got to focus on hitting the back of the cup, guys. This is up the hill, bit of extra juice needed. Looking really good. Yeah, that looked to be a bit of a misread. Sometimes when you try and get it up the hill, you just forget to hit it sometimes. It seems so in this case. Currently 10 under for the event. Three holes remaining, folks. Hang on to your hats. This is going to be a wild and woolly finish. Stepping up to the 16th tee now. Watch out for this green. There's a large shelf on the right-hand side. If it's up there, good luck getting it close. And whatever you do, don't be silly and hit it left in the water. That's just a bad shot.
and choosing the eight iron here. That one should find the surface. Well, that was fantastic. What a shot from the leader. This putt about 11 feet in distance. Rolling end to end is looking nice. Oh, what a round this is. Seven birdies today. He's currently sitting in first place. Two holes to go, Luke. I know who I like. Looking to ride the momentum after coming off a birdie here with this shot. Dog leg from right to left. Second shot is down the slope. Lots of bunkers on this hole, but should you avoid them and find the sliver of a green, then birdie will be on your mind. Oh, that's outstanding. Another great shot by our leader. From around 140 yards here. Oh, what a shot by our leader. Here's a chance to get to 12 under. This for a birdie birdie run. Get in. That's a fine effort, that one. You always want to putt those ones stone dead. Still in the lead now after that hole. But this is quite an astonishing performance by our leader. Their advantage now out to double digits. I'm not sure if the chase back is good enough to catch them. And now this player tees off their final hole of the event with the lead. Good looking shot, this. Well, that's right out of the top drawer. A great shot from our leader. Well, I think they're attacking this. Hello and welcome back to our coverage of this Q School event, already in progress. Let's pick up the action at the 17th. It was on a good line. Didn't quite have the right stuff there. Pretty straightforward four-footer coming up here. 
nice little putt to hold that one. Now at 11 under for the event. And I don't give the rest of the field much hope today. Our leader is way out in front in this final round. Well, what a lovely position to be in, holding the lead, playing the last. Good luck. Oh, he's been putting on a clinic all day. Another beauty by our leader. They're thinking of going for this one, guys. This one is heading to a really not so good space. A chance to chip in here and snatch the title. Wouldn't this be a massive shot to make? Out of the bunker to win it all. Yeah, good effort, that one, out of the bunker. And this is why they put in hours and hours of practice. A putt to win it all. Their short game today has been absolutely sublime fun to watch. And they've done it. What an effort that is, winning Q School in what's a pressure-packed tournament. Yes, hats off, but listen, I, it really doesn't matter, Luke. You finish first or you finish 25th, you still get your tour card. You still have an amazing opportunity next year. Yes, winning it does get you into a few more events at the beginning of the year, but you better play your way into the next part of the year because of the reshuffle. Hats off to the winner, but hats off to all the players getting through. Well, that'll just about do it. On behalf of Rich Beam, I'm Luke Elvey. Thanks for tuning in. Look forward to your company next time.